everyone this is a quick tutorial about how to access the third midterm test sample test paper and how you should do and access the actual online test as well so you would have seen this document already if not it is already uploaded into educal school website and school facebook page as well please go through the online examination user guide carefully before you start accessing the sample test paper or the actual test. I'm briefly taking you through this examination user guide. So step one asks us to copy paste this link and enter that web page. So this is simply entering to educal page. So I copy paste it. You can press control C or right click and copy the link so I'm going to the address bar pasting and entering the page so this is the educal page the next step it asks us to click on the parent icon this is very important before entering the educal username and password you scroll down you will see this parent icon click on it first it has to be blue to show we have selected parent then you have to enter the educal username and password given to you by the school so i'm entering the password and login now you will be taken to the page of your child's profile and if you are having more than one child all of your children's profiles will be shown here you have to select the particular child who is going to sit for the test in this case it is one child and then it will tell you that you have to click this red color icon the folder icon so I click that, it's called daily assignments. And it will take us to this page. You can see here sample test paper, third midterm test. And it's the same thing which is shown in the user guide. Uh, in the actual test, you will, be see, you will see several boxes. That is the subjects that you have. So be very careful when selecting the actual test that you select the correct subject. If you are going to sit for the maths paper, you have to click the box which says mathematics. So here, because it's a sample test, it's only one. We click pending and it will take us to this particular page. The next step in the user guide says click on attend quiz. Let's do that. And then next step is copy the link. You can see the link here. We have to copy that link. And step seven is paste the link in the address bar of a new tab. So let's do that now. I first select the link. Control C or right click and copy. And then I have to open a new tab. How to open a new tab is this plus sign you can see new tab so I click that control V or right click and paste and enter. So while it takes us to the page it will take us to a page which asks for our gmail address because we are doing this through google forms we need to have a gmail account if we don't have a gmail account you will have to create a new gmail account and enter your gmail address here remember it is not the educal username it is the gmail address you have to enter here so i will be now entering my gmail address your gmail address ends with at gmail.com at gmail.com and remember 
to enter the spellings correctly otherwise it would go to a someone else's gmail account so type your gmail address correctly get your link now if you have entered the correct email address it will go it will say that it has sent an email to your given email address now we have to log in to our gmail to see this email that is sent to our gmail account so let me enter my gmail account we can say sign in now i sign in you can just enter the first part or you can type at gmail.com too so username is entered now we have to enter the password of our gmail account not the educal password this is the gmail password you have to enter so it says you will get an email to your email address then we have to click that email and it says open your link and after that you will be taken to a page like this so see i have got an email from timeify sample test paper i click on that new email and i click open your link page which says sample test paper and uh, here you can see it is a timed paper a one hour paper and in doing the sample test paper and in the actual test you have to next click this button open the form before doing that please read these instructions given carefully it says this form will be automatically closed when the time is over after one hour your answers will not be submitted automatically once the form closes so if you do not click the submit button before 60 minutes is over the form will automatically close the paper will close without saving any of the answers typed so make sure that's the next part which we are going to do we have to click the submit button before the given time is over so let's click open the form and that's the step which is given in the user guide the next step is we go to this and it shows the time left and we simply have to start answering the paper and then the last step is that we have to click the submit that's it so let's do the final part now this is the sample test paper your actual test paper also will just look just the same way um, only difference is that this has few questions because it is a sample test your actual test paper will have all the questions that are needed and here you can see how much time there is left so it's a one hour paper now we have 59 more minutes left the very first thing that your child has to do is to enter the child's first name and the surname and in doing this sample test paper it is very important that you let your child do the entering the clicking and the typing do the parent should not do the sample test paper it is the child who has to do the paper because as the name says it is a sample test paper for the child to practice typing entering and submitting the paper so that in the actual test paper the child will be familiar on the um, online format of it so i type i may type the child's name and then we start answering the paper as this is a sample test paper do not worry about thinking what the correct answer should be it is mainly to practice typing and entering so but remember in the actual test paper you have to very carefully read each and every question go through the possible answers and select the correct answer so here i'm just going to click whatever that is there you may do it correctly you may try because you have one hour left the same 
time duration you are going to get in the actual paper so if uh, you want you can let the child think and answer correctly so as this is the tutorial I'm not going to take long I'm just going to do the uh, entering and when the passages are there your child should very carefully read it's the same as doing the school uh, the test at school it's just that the paper is now in a computer online and we instead of writing in a pen we need to type the answers so I will just type something these are just random answers I'm putting but at the actual test you have to answer correctly try to you may write short answers but when writing answers you can try to be uh, as exact as possible so I just type something here and I'm just entering and when you have something like this it's the same as a MCQ it's just that the possible answers are there horizontally so it's like a rating scale we can select one option so this is for the child to practice the entering and the different types of questions that might come up in the paper and when you have an essay to write remember you can go on typing so this would be the heading and you enter and then you go on typing like this you could make paragraphs and then go on and then end and you can try to submit the paper just ignore this field it's asking for the name so we have entered it here at the beginning so we click submit remember before clicking submit the child has to answer all the questions that are there because after clicking submit you won't be able to get the paper back open the paper again and do the entering it is a one-time paper so after entering the all the questions only you have to click submit so the child should open the paper whenever they are ready to answer for the full duration they should sit for that one hour or one and a half hours and type all the answers and then click submit do not for, do not forget to click submit because if you do not click any of the answers that you have typed will not be saved so let's click submit congratulations you have completed your sample test paper well this is the exact same way that your child will have to do the actual test as well remember to click submit thank you very much